Throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Lurking deep within a cave is the terror known as Kamazots. Kamazots, whose name means death bat in the Quiche Maya language of Guatemala, originated deep in Mesoamerican mythology as a terrifying monster, with many depictions featuring him as anthropomorphized as a large man with the head and wings of a bat, or sometimes as a larger-than-life bat with a nose shaped like a flint knife. In Maya mythology, Kamazats acts as the fearsome embodiment of nighttime, human sacrifice, and of death. In accordance with his monstrous appearance, Kamazats possessed animalistic fury that was second to none. With his immense size and strength, aerial capability, and thirst for blood, Kamazats was nigh impossible to defeat in hand-to-hand -hand combat. A favorite tactic involved attacking his victim's neck and wrenching their head clean off their shoulders. He was said to command legions of monstrous bats and lesser demons against the Mayan gods. The only time others were safe from Kamazot's wrath was during the day while he slept, with some stories going as far as to say that he would turn to stone akin to a gargoyle. In the myths, Kamazots often acts as an enforcer for Shibalba, the Maya underworld. During the creation of mankind, in the age of the first sun, humanity was defiant against the gods, breaking laws and refusing to grant sacrifice. In order to wipe the slate clean, the gods unleashed demonic beasts led by Kamazots himself to wipe out the entire human race so the gods could begin again. In the Popol Vuh, Kamazots appears as a messenger of Shipalba to broker a pact between mankind and Lord Tohil in the acquisition of fire for humanity. In this pact, Mankind promised their armpits and their waists in exchange for fire, leading to how the ritual of cutting open a person's breast in sacrifice came to be. Perhaps the most prolific story involving Kamazots is recorded during the trials of the Maya hero twins Unapu and Chibalanke. As part of their tenure in Chibalba, the twins were forced to spend a night in Zotzilaha, the house of bats the lair of Kamazots. In order to avoid the bats that circled all around, the twins slept inside of their blowguns. When the bats went silent, Jibilonke asked Unapu to check to see if the dawn had yet come. Unapu peeked his head outside of the tube, but alas, the dawn had not yet come and Kamazots seized advantage, swooping down and ripping away Hunapu's head, leaving him decapitated. The Death Bat then took the head of Hunapu to the ball court of Jibalba, to be gruesomely displayed and used as a ball while the lords rejoiced in their assumed victory. While he is variously described as a god or as a demon, Kamazots is nevertheless a brutal figure. Driven by bloodthirst and beastly instinct, Kamazots was a force of nature that few could reckon with. The Maya gods and the Jibalban lords all knew this well and used him as a weapon against whoever slighted them. As the fearsome representation of the night of human sacrifice and death as a whole, Kamazots was reason enough for why the Maya feared the dark. 